tell their discovery stories. How does that work? Do you get off stage and Ben comes up to you and is like, hey, I'm Ben Stiller, I'm doing, how does that happen? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like those old school stories you hear about like Paul Newman and all those guys, the the actors. Yeah. yeah, and those things happen. And I think th- that's the message you give to actors. You go like, look, just do it. Whoa, what should I do? Act, go act. You never know what you're gonna be in in some like, you know, read, reading it that's, you know, that you're doing for free, you never know. And I was doing this play with, with Ethan at uh, Playwrights Horizons in New York, Sophistry by Jonathan Mark Sherman, great play. And Ben came to see it and he was like, wow, you should come, you want to, you should audition. Audition, not like you'd be in my movie. And I auditioned, and then I flew out to LA, and I got it. And when did you feel your life, because I, I said this morning, I, I think your career is phenomenal. If, if I was an actor, I would want your type of career, because you've done so many, it's such a cliche, but you've done so many genres, you've done so many types of roles, when, was there a moment that you were like, oh, people know me? Did you have one of those moments when you were in Home Depot or at your favorite garden store getting your perennials behind the back of your wife? Well, was a, there any moments like that? I'm a stud there, just because <laughs> I'm a stud gardener. <laughs> Steve likes to garden and buy way more flowers than his wife would really like right, to Mom? buy. Yeah. Uh, but was there a moment like no. that? No. That you were like, oh, people know who I am. No. It's real gradual. And it's, if there's anybody out here that, that does stuff that is recognized, you know, it's like, I mean, really, 90% of the time, it's just people, that's, you just, they just recognize you. It's not an opinion. And the trap is to, is to think that, it's, that it means something. You know, we see politicians screw this up all the time. You know, these like brilliant minds. and they. And they get sucked into somebody going like, oh. and they go like, oh, they think I'm great. No, they just recognize you. It's not <laughs> you know. You know, the two women sit in a restaurant and look at you, they don't, they don't want to have sex with you. They just recognize you from the stupid show. And you misinterpret that. 10% of the time, it's amazing. And somebody comes up and goes, God, you my family, we watch that movie every Thanksgiving. Think that thing you do is great. Or God, we, you're, you, that movie, you know, the Safe Men was on a loop at our frat. I mean, we know every line. Those are, I'll buy you dinner. You know, those are different. But I never really, I, I, to this day, that's why this is so weird. I don't feel like that. I really don't. That, well, that I'm. Well, what no. was your? Because you are, and I said it off off air. I said you're 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 just as genuine and down to earth and nice as you want as you want you to be what was your reaction when Jayton picks up the phone and says hey we want to give you a lifetime achievement award just I laughed <laughs> <laughs> someone said you say who is this don't get me wrong I mean it's, it's an honor it really is I'm really I'm really happy to be here it's really it's, it's amazing yeah. that was so nice that, that video was so nice. yeah do you have any, I don't like to call them regrets, but do you have any roles, this is what I think fascinating for folks, do you have any re- roles that you turned down that you, looking back, regret, you're like, oh crap, that went on to be this and that? Oh yeah. Would you like to name them all right here? No. Um, <laughs> give us one, come on. I'll give Steve. you one. I was offered um, Band of Brothers. (laughs) (laughs) They're quietly rethinking this lifetime achievement. (laughs) (laughs) Jayden is looking for next year's already, right, Jayden? Yeah, no. That was a you know a big a big history buff. (coughs) Hanks, Tom Hanks, and Gary Getzman, they knew that and. He offered me that, and I, I, I couldn't do it. And I couldn't do it because of the reason why I couldn't do a lot of things. And, and I was pregnant. I wasn't pregnant. My wife was pregnant. But <laughs> we together were pregnant. And, <laughs> yeah, I was, and, I was, and, I, and, and I was like, where is it? In Ireland. How long? Like seven months. How, how much? 
you know, it was that thing. And, and I, I was like, I'm going to be divorced. I can't do that. So I, I didn't do it. But I really, and Tom knows this and everything. I, I just, ah, oh, man, it kills me. It kills me. And, and you know, I have, I have a couple buddies that are on it. And I'm 